Hi, I'm Tom Peach with Campbell CV Company, and today we're going to talk about pilot-operated pressure-reducing valves. What we have here is a ED uh, pilot-operated valve, and here is the main valve, and here we have the pilot valve, which is energized by the upstream pressure. It flows into the valve, and what we have is basically a balancing act between the spring pressure through the diaphragm and the valve assembly. And this, this area is connected via the delivery line or sensing line that ties into the downstream side that we're trying to control that pressure. The tighter that we would adjust these nuts, the more spring force that would put down on the valve. It would overcome this pressure, push down on the smaller pilot operated valve, which then increases the pressure in the tubing and then would stroke this valve and try to get more flow through the valve to increase that delivery pressure. When we loosen up the adjustment nuts on top of the pilot, we then relax the spring, the pressure goes down, the pressure inside this says that it is now satisfied and it will allow the pressure to start to reduce and fall off so we can adjust that pressure and finally as much as that we would like to get. Um, as we look over here, we're going to see in color that the red is the high pressure steam and you can see the various uh, chambers where high pressure steam is. You're going to see another different color and that's orange, that's intermediate pressure, that's of the bends and the fittings and the tubing. You're going to notice here we have what's called a bleed port and the bleed port is tapped in here. This is how you bleed off that energy so the control pilot can do its balancing act. Then we have what's called a restriction elbow here. You'll be able to read that we have a restriction port down here. That throttles and controls the amount of fluids that actually stroke the diaphragm. The main valve itself is a fail closed valve, so we actually have to have a force here to push open this valve via through the diaphragm. When the system is installed properly and hooked up, one would just have to simply adjust the uh, adjustment nuts on the pilot and you should be able to control the delivery pressure to very, very decent accuracy. So where would a um, pilot operated pressure reducing valve be used? Um, typically we see these applications on, on steam for example and that's where we want to run things like building automation, HVAC units, shell and tube heat exchangers, low pressure steam applications such as humidification and basically you're building um, uh, heating demands that utilize low pressure steam. These valves can also be used on other gases such as air and, and um, uh, other inert gases where you want to drop the pressure from a higher supply pressure. And this is a pilot operated pressure reducing valve.